Okay, thanks for watching. Welcome everyone. And this is my first video on programming in the Mac OS. Specifically, we're using here the um, Xcode and the Mac OS 10.82. So, uh, now we're going to uh, develop a simple C program using uh, Xcode, the free IDE for Mac users out there. So, you can launch Xcode by uh, by opening the uh, DMG file on the uh, Mac download and then uh, you can run it from here so we already have it we already have it here and you can just create a new project and um, once we've created a new project we'll then choose the uh, the proper project type We'll develop a simple command line tool in this project. Actually, you can also develop a lot of other files here. But, uh, we'll start with the basics. A simple C file that, uh, scans an input from the user and returns some stuff. Okay, let's click next. And let's call this product name simple ask so uh, let's choose C as the language and click next here in our uh, projects let's uh, just choose that location so we already have it here as you can see uh, two parts are being made here ask.l and main.c We'll mainly be working with main.c for the moment, and here is the sample hello world application already in the template. So let's add here, um, for example, the uh, program we uh, develop as for the name of the user and then the age of the user. So let's just keep it simple. Let's uh, put here what's your name. So, um, quick review here. You can see I have the apostrophes. That's because an apostrophe will uh, mess up, maybe. No, it's not messing up. So, let's just put one. And then, after asking for the name, we make a scanf. But before we can do any scanf, we need to put it in a character array. Let's just name this my name and uh, have a size of 30 is equal to a an empty screen. You see, we have an error here. Let's try it. Unused variable. So already the IDE Xcode has already detected that my name has been declared but has never been used so uh let's use it here can f so in the variable my name we'll be placing our our uh data input from the user using the scan f function and let's place it in my name as you can see uh the autocomplete is quite very competitive uh, compared to the uh, Visual Studio suit and to think that the Visual Studio suit costs $2,000 and this Xcode suit is free I'm really impressed I think I'm beginning to like the Mac OS for these for one of these reasons during development and uh, now we already have the name let's ask for the age and before we ask for the age we create a variable where we can store the age of the user Perhaps let's uh, add um, my age as an integer and initialize it to zero. 
and once again let's print f here and say uh, what's your age and continue the questioning and another scan f no and let's put here uh, percent d percent d is the qualifier for the uh, number and let's try my age here so we have now two data data items uh, let's actually click here and see what's wrong so uh, if you actually use a an integer or other native primitive types you actually need to use the uh, the the uh, pointer this one because uh, scanf is uh, pointing to the address of my age so you need uh, the reference operator this is and you need this just however this one doesn't need one because it's an array of characters so we'll see finally see the results here by printing the results. For example, let's say hello, uh, let's say printf hello percent s your age is percent d and you were born percent d years ago so here let's type in um, let's put slash n by the way to make things more beautiful and let's put here the my name then corresponding to this first first percent s and then your age is my age and then it's 2013 minus my age so there we go let's put another empty scanf here because this is in the ending we don't really care anyway let's just say get char get, get char here Just to uh, ask for one more thing, then before it shut down, shuts down the program. So, uh, simple recap: this is what our program does. Let's try to uh, run it. It begins to compile our program. So you see, the building is uh, has just succeeded, and it will start playing it. So here we go. It's asking, "What's your name?" So let me place here, my name is Bangan Kali. It says, hello Bangan, your age is zero. That's because, that was my fault. That's because I put a space in front of here. You see, because we only have 1% S, it only took Bangan part. And then it thought that Kali was your age. So this is one of the problems you have to look into when you're programming C, especially when you're using percent %s. So let's just retry the program, rerun it, and put instead here bang on Kali. And now it asks my age. So let's try to put here my age is 13. You see? Hello, Bang Kali, your age is 13 and you were born in 2000. Oh, I got it totally wrong. We should have put here, you were born in year. Okay, this one should feel right this time. So, we run it again. It asks our name. We say Bangan. Kali, we say our age is 13. Here we go. Hello, Bang Kali, your age is 13 and you were born in year 2000. 
So this is our first video tutorial in programming with Mac PC using Xcode. And this is the first time I have used a Mac and this is the first time I have programmed with Xcode. And I think I'm liking it. This is much better. This is so much better than the one in Visual Studio for educational, I mean, yes, for educational programming with C. And of course, perhaps maybe it's still better if you're using this for a professional development uh, of uh, complex systems. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.